Welcome to Align Your Practice, an exploration of the seamless relationship between the business of chiropractic and the future of natural health care. Join us as we engage with an array of talent, from seasoned experts to passionate new entrepreneurs. Now, here's your host, Dr. Joe Esposito. <laughs> Welcome to the Align Your Practice podcast. This is Dr. Joe Esposito. I'm coming here from Columbia with my two good friends and colleagues. We have Dr. Justin Brown and Dr. Sebastian Bonin, who's been on the podcast before. So we're going to talk about practice burnout. Okay, that's going to be the topic for today. And uh, guys, let's open it up to talk about where we're at, what we're doing. Um, and it's interesting in burnout, from my perspective, when you're in a state of burnout, you just feel you're dealing with adversity nonstop. Everything's a problem. You're a victim to everything around you. And it's funny, when we started this podcast, my computer time was off, so I couldn't load the podcast software. Then my camera wasn't working. And then he went to get his computer, but it was raining and we didn't have an umbrella. And it's just been a funny... And then the computer ran out of battery. <laughs> the computer ran out of battery. Now it's I have water dripping There's electricity in the gate that's behind us. This gate you're seeing behind us has electric in it, in the gate. <laughs> And now there's water dripping from the ceiling on us as we sit here. <laughs> so one of the reasons people burn out is because not they're working too much. A lot of people think they're overworked. Burnout is lack of purpose. So let's just open it up for the next 15, 20 minutes. If you're listening to this, we want you to really connect with the message here about connecting to purpose. So a mission trip, you come in on the mission trip, like Justin, what's your take on that? and connecting a purpose. How does that happen on a trip like this? Yeah, I think, you know, you get into chiropractic because you have a love for service. And through building something big, um, a lot of times your energies and your priorities get shifted away from just hands-on and being able to just take care of people. So when I'm feeling burnt out, it's really because I'm kind of focused on me and I'm, I'm off purpose. Um, when I'm on fire, I'll never get burnt out, right? So when I'm on fire, I never get burnt out. In fact, there's just not enough hours in the day. You just, you blur the line between work and play as you talked about. So um, for me, this is so critical just to dive into service and just to, to give for the sake of giving and um, put hands on people that you know there's no exchange. It's just truly just, you know, there's a language barrier. So it's just pure unadulterated service and and taking care of people and they're just like massive gratitude, um, which just re like recenters me, you know, puts me in alignment back to, to my cause and my purpose. So, and, and that that's happened 100% that's happened. So would you agree? Like people go on vacation, they leave practice and they just go, I'm not saying don't do that to disconnect, but when you're off on purpose and you go just sit on the beach for five, seven days, when you're not connected to your purpose, you may not get that rejuvenation and be like, I'm still burnt out come back from vacation, right? Because you're not connecting the purpose. So sometimes right. it's not just rejuvenation, it's purpose. What's your perspective? I know what you said was interesting. He was hitting the streets in one of the cities. We didn't have enough connection with the local because it's the first time health missions came to Columbia. And he was walking the streets. Right. When he came back, he's like, everyone thinks that's what I like to do. Like, if that's like innate for me. No, I don't love doing that. <laughs> you were like, it just reconnects me to my purpose when I go back, I'm on fire. Like, explain that a little bit. Yeah. Um, so uh, while the whole crew is upstairs adjusting, you know, we're, we're with chiropractors that are used to seeing high volume. So we, we expect it. Yeah. So we expect it and we move quick through crowds. So all of a sudden, we just took care of everyone who was supposed to get care and had an appointment or just knew about while we were there. So I had to go outside and uh, recruit um, the people just walking by and bring them over. And that way, you know, we, we made it happen and it was an incredibly impactful date. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. So what I was saying was that, you know, some of you were coming to me like, oh man, that was awesome. You know, you're so incredible. And just like, you know, like. Um, oh, Giving you the accolade. Yeah, right? exactly. Yeah. I, I, as if that was as something natural to me that, you know, as, as, if, as if that was easy to me or comes easy to me, it doesn't. It's just how you said, 
uh, reconnects me uh, with my purpose. I, it's so outside my comfort zone, but I'm wired to, to, to win people over. So I'm wired that way, but I get caught up in the business side of, of, of what we do so much uh, sometimes that um, I forget that, yeah. that, that, that all, the ultimate thrill, what I call yeah. that's the ultimate thrill, man. Like yeah. knocking on door, you know, just going there, talking to a perfect stranger. It's awesome. It's the it's the ultimate test of, for me, the ultimate test of how much I, I really want what I say I want. Right. But in the same time, if we go, we we all spend time with each other at seminars, but to actually be inundated for multiple days at a time and then actually see each other in action like we could spend a lot of time together seminars but never actually see each other doing our gift so to actually be able to see that sure. for you to receive the accolades that you fully deserve you know we're floored and just have your colleagues come up to you and say sebastian like you are absolutely world class at giving this message to these people like that's got to mean something to you it's got to it's good reinforcement from people you respect your colleagues and just the same like when I had the opportunity to adjust not only just the people in these communities and these villages, but also other chiropractors, it's like reinforcement for like, man, like what you're we doing do, the right thing. Ah, you're doing the right thing. And, and um, we can take it for granted. It's so easy to just take it for granted what we do. You know, I was thinking about that. The For me, the mission trip is, is kind of what you're saying. It's not just the 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 gift of service that we all love. It's what you just said, because I gained such an just this passionate appreciation for this profession, watching you do your work. And it was so different than my work. And it's like, it's like opposite in a way of philosophically, but I had such a deep appreciation for all the different art forms of chiropractic that it made me more convicted in my work. Not I have to change my work, but wow, chiropractic is so diverse and amazing and it's art. It so is. That was just a, Beautiful part of the mission trip for me. So if you haven't been on a mission trip, you know, finishing up this podcast, we'll go through a couple of the reasons and what you can experience. I founded Health Missions about 18 years ago, and our goal is to help you fall back in love with your profession, number one. Number two is to reconnect with nature, you know, get grounding, enjoy nature. And we always do that. Number three is feel like a kid again. Mm. Uh, and number four is break some comfort zones. So those are the four tenants that I try to put into every trip. And I think we kind of nailed it. I'm ruining the dinner talk because we're going to be talking about that in a minute. <laughs> well, let's let's talk a moment about that. For me, the kid-like thing, I think we all felt it being on Jeeps, standing outside, oh. standing in the bed of a Jeep and riding through uh, you know, a road that shouldn't really be considered a road because it, <laughs> it wasn't a road. It was just a bunch of <laughs> craters. Uh, craters. Yeah. So driving in Mars. No, like dumping your head into a waterfall, feeling the rush of that cold water just rushing over top of you. And then, you know, playing like uh pool all night, hysterical, keeping everybody up, you know, in the in the quarters next door. Like everybody's like, who's having that much fun? Like, what's <laughs> yeah. going on there? Like, there's a party going on there. It just felt like being a child again. It just reminded me that that I could laugh a lot more. And that's that childlike innocence, just the joy of play. Yeah. yeah, just finding massive intensity in simplicity. Yes, that, that's that's yeah. So something as simple as a pool table. Yeah, it's so intense. <laughs> that's so fun. You know, uh, nobody's competitive here either. So that. <laughs> <laughs> so, what advice would you give someone who's never been on a mission trip? Here's what people say: Number one is, I can't afford that. Number two is what am I going to do with my patients if I take off four days? They're all going to leave me. Like, isn't this the common thing that you guys, you've been on more, I've been on a lot of mission trips founding this company, but I think you've been more than me. <laughs> what What's the reason? You're not going there just to adjust. Is it just the reconnection or what What makes you go on these trips? Because you're a busy guy. I, I, I go along with what Justin has said. Uh, for me, it's open heart surgery. That's what it is. Like you come here, you get, you're going to get open heart surgery. Your heart's going to be blasted open. And <laughs> it's going like to that. reveal your, your subluxations, your mental subluxation, your spiritual subluxations. Siege. Mm. And you're just going to, uh, mm. you have no other uh, 
option but to deal with them and heal them and you just come upgrade it and everything in your life gets upgraded for us so. new environments matter yeah and uh being around incredible humans and um you know just sharing like having deep conversations with people you know when you're you know on that dirt road bumping up and down on a wheelie and i'm sitting next to joe and we're just like taking in the scenery it's like it's a different conversation. Um, <laughs> if you feel like you're in a rut, it's because you're going in the same circle over and over again, deep digging a deeper rut. And the only way to get out of that rut is to change your environment. So when you change your environment, you crack your headspace open, crack your heart open, gives you new insights, new perspectives, and then change the game and you get back. And uh, you know, absence makes the heart grow fonder. Your patients are going, they're not going anywhere. You're going to go say, you're going to go serve people in some under served area and it's just only going to make them love you more and be more convicted as to why they're a chiropractic patient yeah you're you're you're, okay. you're becoming more valuable to them correct so um everyone benefits yeah yeah awesome so closing up guys if you want more information you can go to look us up health missions we're a part of one chiropractic a subsidiary of the largest nonprofit group we're really proud of what one chiropractic student to defend uh, through the Chiro Chiropractic Defense Council. But another leg of that they may not know is Health Missions is now one of the second big tier that the, C the uh, one chiropractic is delivering to the profession. So thanks, guys, for getting on. Instagram handle is at health underscore missions. Yeah. Awesome. Check out our videos of our last trip. You guys will enjoy it. Hoping to see you on the next trip. Thanks, guys. That was awesome. This episode was brought to you by Align Life Chiropractic and Natural Health Centers. If you're interested in creating your dream practice or want to know more about Align Life, go to alignlifepodcast.com.